the formation of the NCAIA, North Canada after Apocalypse. By 2076, the full wall that once separated Canada from America was nothing but crumbles of cement and ash. The border cities it once prospered were now lone deserts with the smell of death and burning trash. The entire Canadian country had all fled, going separate ways, telling their own stories of culture and survival. The indigenous people tried to migrate Northwest Thai live in a sovereign nation rebuilding and regrowing off the land but the Russian Federation's factions quickly turned the entire west side of Canada into a militarized transportation route, and the quality of life for anyone trying to survive next to this Russian superhighway of soldiers would quickly become extorted. Women and girls kidnapped and used as pleasure slaves along the Russian-Canadian truck stops, young boys captured and used to replace organs, blood, and other medical transplants, and anyone left by the passing Russian troops just became part of the collection of roadkill scavengers trying to survive. One, the East Coast, the Canadians and French Canadians had began and ended one of the bloidiest revolutions inside a country since the 2070 EMP. By 2089, all of Canada was a wasteland, except the small, by highly fortified NCAA, North Canada. After Apocalypse, a gated community of veteran marauders, killers, and tough guy alpha males, they quickly took advantage of the Canadian-French-Canadian fights and started coming from USA, Fort Drum, gangs of what once was 10th Mountain Division. After the Apocalypse causes the U.S. government to collapse, so did Fort Drum. These soldiers lived off marauding and looting communities while moving north. By 2089, they had a full organization up north and a well-organized system of marauding and displacing other communities. But by 2089, the Canadian population also was almost non-existent, causing the NCAA, lead by once an honored U.S. Army soldier, now a NCAA boss, Command Sergeant Major Green. CSM Green has finally convinced his NCAA men to start traveling the Appalachian Trail from Canada to Georgia to marade and loot U.S. colonies. But in Tennessee, CSM Green was held up by a discovery a N, extremely small and ill-equipped unit in Tennessee, was able to hold off so many attacks. And how? Why were so many looters attacking this location? C.S.M. Green has set his focus on the Newland Republic, Tennessee, dot, 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 